আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর সৈয়দা ফারজানা ইয়াসমিন অ্যাসোসিয়েট প্রফেসর গাইনি অ্যান্ড অবস আদিন আকিজ মেডিকেল কলেজ খুলনা টুডে উই উইল ডিসকাস অন সাম গাইনিকোলজিক অপারেশনস হুইচ ইনক্লুডস ওভারিয়ান সিস্টেকটোমি ওভারিওটোমি সার্পিং গোফোরেকটোমি অ্যান্ড অলসো সার্পিং জেকটোমি ফার্স্ট উই উইল ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট ওভারিয়ান সিস্টেকটোমি হোয়াট ইজ ওভারিয়ান সিস্টেকটোমি when the ovarian cyst uh, is enucleated from an ovary leaving behind adequate portion of healthy ovarian tissue then it is called ovarian cystectomy enucleation of the ovarian cyst leaving behind adequate portion of healthy ovarian tissue what is the indication of this ovarian cystectomy why we should do ovarian cystectomy we do ovarian cystectomy uh, in a case of benign ovarian cyst or tumor in young patient the procedure procedure of the ovarian cystectomy includes opening of the abdomen by giving a right paramedian or phenanstial incision according to size of the ovarian cyst according to size of the ovarian cyst first we give right paramedian or phenanstial incision then after opening of the abdominal wall we uh, first uh, identify uh, the ovarian cyst and the uh, ovarian tumor or ovarian cyst is uh, then uh, lifted outside the abdominal cavity and it is inspected and uh, decision is made whether ovarian cystectomy is possible or not then the another ovary is checked for any pathology a superficial incision is uh, lightly made through the cyst capsule taking care not to open the cyst which is underneath the capsule to give a superficial incision over the cyst capsule taking proper care not to injure the cyst which is underlying the capsule then with uh, blunt and sharp dissection uh, the cyst capsule is separated from the cyst plane of cleavage is sought out first and the enucleation process is proceeded the plane of cleavage of cyst from the cyst wall or cyst capsule is sought out first then enucleation process is completed then the cyst is removed and after removal of the cyst the hemostasis should be properly ensured cyst bed is then uh, closed by interrupted mattress suture using catgut number 0 uh, with a round body needle and hemostasis is ensured then the reconstructed ovary is uh, replaced back into the abdominal cavity then the abdomen is closed in layers this is the procedure of ovarian cystectomy uh, what are the advantage of ovarian cystectomy uh, we can preserve ovarian tissue which will work further in future in young patient and fertility can be preserved disadvantage of ovarian cystectomy uh, after enucleation of the ovarian cyst when it is uh, sent for histopathology the report may show malignancy in such a case uh, reopening of the abdomen followed by radical uh, surgery may be essential in uh, such a case it is hazardous uh, as a reopening process is uh, not um, uh, acceptable to all and uh, what are the difficulties during ovarian cystectomy uh, difficulties uh, undergone when there is any uh, torsion uh, torsion uh, then uh, uh, ovarian cystectomy may become difficult accidental injury to the cyst may interfere with uh, the 
uh, ovarian cystectomy and uh, the ovarian uh, cyst may be punctured fluid may escape and intact ovarian cyst may not be enucleated if the procedure is not perfect so uh, we should do ovarian cystectomy in perfect way. We discuss uh, uh, about ovariotomy or oophorectomy and salpingo oophorectomy. What is ovariotomy? Ovariotomy means removal of the ovary. Ovariotomy. What is ovariotomy? Ovariotomy means removal of the ovary containing an ovarian tumor. Whole of the ovarian tissue is replaced by the tumor. Uh, then preservation of the ovary is not possible as uh, sufficient amount of ovarian tissue is not uh, present then uh, we um, do ovariotomy when sufficient ovarian tissue cannot be preserved as ovarian tumor has involved most of the ovarian tissue then we do ovariotomy that is removal of the ovary containing the ovarian tumor. In case of uh, ovariotomy, uh, we may include the tumor tube when it is uh, diseased. We may need removal of the fallopian tube along with the ovary. This is called salpingo ophorectomy when ovarian tumor with ovary and adjacent uh, fallopian tube is removed then we call it uh, salpingo ophorectomy. What is the procedure? Procedure of ovariotomy, procedure abdomen is as usual opened by right uh, paramedian or financial incision. Then the ovary containing ovarian tumor is uh, lifted up through the incision and uh, it is then outside of the abdominal cavity. Another ovary is checked for any pathology, then ovariotomy done. In uh, such a case, uh, hysterectomy clumps uh, are used and uh, mm, uh, one clump placed uh, uh, in the infundibular pelvic ligament, laterally in the infundibular pelvic ligament and uh, another um, clump is placed uh, in medially uh, which includes uh, ovarian ligament, fallopian tube and uh, some portion of uh, broad ligament and uh, the, then the ovary with the ovarian tumor is uh, removed with a scalpel in between two, cl two clumps. Then a transfixation suture is given uh, with uh, chromic catgut 1 or with uh, vicryl and uh, the, uh, after ensuring proper hemostasis the clump is peritonized and then replaced into the abdominal cavity then abdomen is closed in layers what are the difficulties or dangers during this ovariotomy when the ovarian tumor has uh, become twisted or infected then there is chance of addition of the tumor with the surrounding structures which includes uh, bladder uh, intestine even abdominal paritis this addition may cause difficulty in operation and during uh, this uh, separation during separation of addition there is chance of injury to bladder intestine and uh, omentum and uh, also there is chance of hemorrhage chance of hemorrhage uncontrollable hemorrhage during such a separation what are the disadvantages disadvantages of ovariotomy same as ovarian cystectomy, the tumor uh, on histopathological report tumor may show malignancy. In such a case, uh, reopening uh, of the abdomen and uh, total um, abdominal hysterectomy with uh, salpingophorectomy or radical operation may be required. What are the complications of salpingophorectomy? What are the complications which may arise after bilateral salpingophorectomy? patient uh, may develop menopausal symptoms, uh, these uh, surgical menopause or menopausal symptoms are more troublesome than natural menopause. And uh, what are the role of prophylactic ovarectomy during hysterectomy? These are, there is a decreased uh, risk of ovarian malignancy, prevent residual ovarian syndrome 
and relief of premenstrual tension syndrome. If we do oophorectomy during hysterectomy, there is less chance of less incidence of ovarian malignancy, residual ovarian syndrome, and uh, and relief of premenstrual tension syndrome. And now salpingectomy. What is salpingectomy? Salpingectomy means removal of the fallopian tube. What are the indications of salpingectomy or when we do salpingectomy? Uh, in case of ruptured ectopic pregnancy and uh, in case of diseased fallopian tube like hydrosalpings, pyosalpings, we do salpingectomy. What is the procedure? Procedure same. So in case of salpingectomy, we first uh, open the abdomen. Uh, by infra umbilical uh, paramedian incision or penanteal incision. Uh, then uh, first the pelvic organs are inspected, inspected and the diseased tube is then delivered through the abdominal incision. And uh, the diseased tube is held usually with uh, sponge holding uh, forceps and then a pair of long artery forceps, a pair of long artery forceps is used to do salpingectomy. Uh, one clump is uh, placed uh, medially over the fallopian tube and laterally in the mesosalpings and the tube is cut in between two clumps. The tip of the two clumps should overlap each other uh, to avoid bleeding or hematoma uh, uh, and uh, then the tube is removed in between two clumps. The tube is excised and the clumps are replaced by transfixation suture with chromic catgut 1 and the excised tube is then sent for histopathology and then the abdomen is closed in layers. Today our session is over. 